Our Boomtown series continues on Up With Creme this morning. We are talking about the podium. That's right, it's Spokane's newest sports facility featuring a 200 meter hydraulic indoor running track. Already two national championships are booked at the podium in the next year. Construction of the $53 million facility is now complete and this morning we are getting a first glance inside the brand new world class venue. So Crim 2's Nicole Hernandez is live there right now speaking with the event manager for Spokane Public Facilities District. Good morning, Nicole. How's it going? Hey, good morning, guys. So uh, we are here on the track. This is what we've been talking about all morning here at the podium. So the first event here is happening on December 11th. So we're just over a month away and we decided to give you guys a sneak peek while we're getting close to that. So I have Ryan Ford here. He has all the knowledge. So first off, you explain to me how big this place is. Put it into perspective. How big is this? Yeah, so our athlete competition space here is uh, right around 78,000 square feet. It's about 360 feet long and about 250 feet wide. So it's a pretty immense area here for and the athletes to compete in. You fit a ton of stuff in here. So what do we have? We did. So, um, of course, we have the banked oval track. You know, it's a hydraulic bank system, 12 degree uh, pitch. Where we're standing right now, these are the sprint lanes. These are our 60 meter sprint lanes. This is the start line. Finish line is right down here behind us. Over in this area, we've got two pole vault areas. And right behind me here is our jump areas for, for long jump and triple jump. And then, of course, we've got our throw sectors out here as well. Yeah, if we move for this shot way. put and weighted throws. Yeah, we can actually see those. You've got one of the weights down there. I picked it up earlier. Pretty darn heavy. Uh, but what, what are these nets? These come down, right? It is. These are our retractable throw nets, so that when we have our competitors throwing in there, we don't uh, accidentally lose one out in the crowd. <laughs> That's important. Yeah. <laughs> so, as someone who's done put a ton of time into this. What, what is it for you to see that this has come together and it's basically ready for an event? Well, I've been involved in it since the beginning, uh, the whole design concept and everything else. So to see this project, uh, you know, finally come to the finish line here, to use a track terminology, it's, uh, <laughs> it, it's pretty remarkable. I mean, just the effort uh, that's gone in by all of our, our partners, our designers, our, uh, our own lighting folks. I mean, it's, uh, it's been really remarkable to see that. Yeah. come together and, it, and we're you know super excited to see that uh, and bring those events to Spokane. We're really excited about seeing our first track meet here. Absolutely and of course on top of being world class for athletes it also is going to bring a ton to our Spokane area, our city itself. Uh, researchers show that 25,000 people every single year will be coming here specifically for tourism because of the podium. So big deal for our city and big deal for the people that are going to be coming to see it of course. So Absolutely. I'll send these back to you guys for now. All right. Thanks, Nicole. Now, one of the biggest benefits of the podium is actually the location because the facility is located in downtown Spokane. Yeah, it's in a great spot. Most venues like this, though, are usually on the outskirts of a community. But with the podium, any tourist, visitors, athletes, coaches, they really have the opportunity to do their race or event. They could go back to their hotel, walk through the park, get something to eat, walk around downtown, or even warm up on the Centennial Trail, which is just outside its door. So there's also other things that set the facility apart, like organizers say the venue will bring major sporting events in Spokane and that the arena can host large spectator events and cater to the specific needs of tournaments. It also has the space to host a number of courts or fields. However, City of, of Spokane officials say the arena and convention center can still provide supportive spaces for the tournaments. Our Boomtown series continues all morning long on Up With Creme. Coming up in our next half hour, Nicole Hernandez will take us around the facility a little bit more. Plus, talk about how future events could bring millions of dollars every year to Spokane.